There's one. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Paul Mueller here. Today I'm going to talk about micro swim baits for jumbo perch. This is one of my go-to techniques to catch big perch. I'm going to show you how to locate these fish and the proper way to fish this technique. Okay, today we're going to be fishing ice out conditions for yellow perch and this time of year is probably the, one of the best times to catch these big females because they're all schooled up. They're kind of in big schools getting ready to go to their spawning areas and what they spawn on on lakes like this is they use milfoil beds on flats. Um, perch either spawn on wood or they spawn on weeds and this lake has a lot of milfoil in it and so what you have to look for is you have to look for a nice flat with milfoil on it because that's where they're going to lay their eggs. Now they do that when the water is a little bit warmer and right now what we're looking for is those migration routes from their wintering areas to their spawning areas and when you can intercept them before they hit the flats they're still schooled up and you can get on the school and catch a ton of jumbo perch. So I'm going to show you a couple things on your, on your electronics that you have to look for to intercept those fish before they spawn. Okay, what I'm doing with my side imaging is I'm, I'm scanning around and what's nice about the side imaging is that you can see the contours, the different depth changes. And so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the, a deep, the deep water to kind of come up to the flat. And that's what, what these fish are going to do is they're going to be using that, that deep water as a migration route to get up on these flats. And as you can see on this side imaging, you can see the shallower water. These are the actual contour lines of where the deep water comes up to the flat. And th that's what these fish will do. They'll, they'll be out in their winter areas and they'll, they'll use this migration route to get to these spawning flats. Okay, what I'm doing, the, the easiest way to fish these baits is a, it's a controlled depth thing. You're just casting it out, you're letting it hit the bottom. A lot of times I'll fish it off the bottom, sometimes I'll fish it a little bit up from the bottom depending on the structure and the area. But it's a do nothing technique. The less you do with it, the better off it is. You don't jig it, you just cast it out. You let it hit the bottom and it's a slow roll back to the boat. And for whatever reason, it's the same thing works on the bass, it works for the perch. It's just, it's irresistible when you get this around them. There's one right there. <laughs> I put it right through the kitchen. And that was it. Ooh, it's a good one. It didn't, it didn't fight as good as some of the other ones. It came right up. It's a fat one though, man. They are such a pretty fish. And when they're fat like that, getting ready to spawn full of eggs that's when they're at their best I mean that is such an awesome deal jumbo perch here's one picked it right up that feels like a good one that one's shaking might be the best one yet And that slow presentation that, you know, you can catch them with a faster jig head, but if you, if you have the right type jig head and you just kind of slow roll it through them, you're going to get those bigger fish. They're a little bit lazier than the other ones in the school. That's a good one right there. And that fish inhaled it. I mean, inhaled it. You just got to keep messing around with, with different size jig heads and it all depends on the wind. But I try to use the lightest jig head I can get away with, and you can see that fish ate that swim bait. That's a nice fish. It's a beautiful perch. And it, it wanted it. That is my favorite color for sunny days. That bluegill. Clear water, sunny days. Looks like an owlwife. And you can catch some big yellow perch <laughs> that is a filled up my hand there's a big one hmm. 
<laughs> oh, that water is cold. Another nice perch. Just it's so healthy. Such a beautiful fish. And just like any type of fishing, matching the hatch is critical. This is about the size of the owl wives that they prefer. And just one of the best techniques that I know of to catch big jumbo perch. There's one. Oh, he came back for it. <laughs> That's so cool. That one hit it pretty hard. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> this one's fighting good too. On ultralight gear, this is just so much fun. And these fish taste really good too. Just haven't kept any today. <laughs> Another jumbo. Oh man. It doesn't get much better than that. And where's the bait? <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> and they're durable. I've used one bait for all these fish. Tungsten jig head. Big yellow perch. When you actually locate the perch, you have to experiment with different cast angles because there'll be a certain angle, a certain cast that you'll be able to, if you line everything up and make that same exact cast, you'll be able to catch a fish on every cast with these, because these perch are in tight schools. And it just happens to be that the, the perfect cast on this spot is cross current. I typically like to, to fish with the wind or, there's one. Um, going with the wind or casting into the wind because I'm going to have better sensitivity. Cross current, the wind's blowing up on your line, um, it's not as, as sensitive of a presentation. So you need to use a good fluorocarbon line. And what I use is Gamma Touch 5 pound fluorocarbon and it has a diameter of, of say like a 4 but a higher brake strength. So I'm able to, when I'm making a long cast like that and the wind's blowing on my line, I still have the sensitivity and part of it is because I'm using a very sensitive rod, using a Champion Extreme 702 SF spinning and this is the same rod I use for my drop shot rigs and it is the ultimate in sensitivity as far as, as rods go. It's just super light and when they breathe on it, you can, between the line and the rod, you can really feel it. Um, and as you can see, this is a good one. So, but that's one tip, use a, use a fluorocarbon line. I love that Gamma 5 pound touch. It does, it's plenty strong. You're not gonna have the fish break you off with it. And you can feel those little light strikes sometimes. Sometimes they don't really eat it that well. Sometimes they eat it and it's an aggressive strike. And sometimes those bigger fish, they just come up to it and suck it in. So, let that one go and we'll catch another one. That's a big one. Oh, <laughs> head shaking. It felt bigger. That one, that one fought really well. Oh, that's a nice one though. Very nice perch. Loving that rock vibe, Chad. Same bait. Such a beautiful looking fish. Good one. Oh yeah, that's fighting. Oh, she's a fighting. Strong. Not a bad one. Boy, that one fought like some of the real big ones. Still a nice fish, though. Fat, really, really fat.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. He hit it about three times. Oh, it's digging. Digging like a good one. Oh, that's a nice one. Next time you go perch fishing, try a swim bait and catch perch like these.